Hey guys, welcome back to Based in Maine. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Tom Aspinall and his performance last Saturday night. I know this video is kind of late now because people are moving on to talk about UFC 291, but I didn't get a chance to make a video about Tom Aspinall and his victory, his fast TKO victory over Marcin Tybura uh, this last Saturday, where Aspinall just beat the crap out of him. I mean, just dominating him like I, to be honest I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit about it but like I feel like this fight shouldn't have happened I felt like Tybura is not like one of those heavyweights that has a lot of power he's a very mediocre heavyweight um and I get that I get why they gave uh Tom Aspinall the fight I mean the guy was coming off a really bad uh injury and they kind of wanted to give him a a layup fight I, I I guess a tuna fight in a way, and um, and yeah, I mean he was able to beat Marcel Tybura, but that, I mean I'm not gonna I'm not here to talk about the fight specifically, but I'm here to talk about Tom Aspinall's call out because after his victory on Saturday night, he called out the winner of Gon versus Spivak, and he said that he was gonna face the winner, beat the winner of Gon versus Spivak, and then wants to face John Jones. Now, when he made this call out, I was, like, there scratching my head, like, huh? Like, wait, why? Like, you know, there is a guy that's, like, uh, on a win streak right now called uh, Pavlovich. And in my head, like, I mean, I, I like Aspinall. But in a, in a way, I was thinking, like, man, is this guy ducking Sergey Pavlovich? Like, why, did, why, did he mention, why didn't he mention his name at all? And um, I, was just, I was just confused. And, like, it makes no sense to me. That he calls out the winner of Gon versus Spivak because if Gon wins, which I do think he's gonna win, I, I have I think Gon's gonna win this fight. Um, I don't think Gon deserves to be in a title shot. I think he needs a couple a couple of fights in order to get back to the title. I mean, he lost to Francis Ngannou. I know that was a controversial loss, and then he got destroyed by John Jones in the first round, guys. Like, I'm sorry, but I do not want to see Gon in the title picture. This guy needs a couple of more wins in the heavyweight division, and then maybe he gets a, sh a chance at the title. But right now, in my opinion. And I think a lot of people, a lot of you guys would agree. The fight to make right now is Tom Aspinall versus Sergey Pavlovich. Now, I could kind of see why there's a little bit of hesitation, maybe from the UFC, to make this fight because we do know that in November, John Jones is gonna fight Stephen Miocic for the heavyweight title. Um, that's happening in November. I mean, we've heard rumors. We've heard uh, John Jones say that he's he's gonna retire. Most likely, Stephen Miocic is also gonna retire. I mean, the guy's in his 40s, so you know what I'm saying, guys. Like, most likely, I I think I'm predicting right now. I mean, I don't know if it's a prediction. Maybe they've come out and confirmed it. Let me know down in the comments below. Maybe uh, Stephen and, and John Jones have both said that they're gonna retire in November after this fight. But most likely, they will retire. But I, I think what the UFC should just do is just wait, wait to see what happens versus Jones and Stipe, which most likely Jones is going to end up winning that fight. And then for the vacant title, you do Tom Aspinall versus Sergey Pavlovich because Sergey Pavlovich has earned a title shot, man. Like he's beat Curtis. He beat Curtis Blades in the first round. A lot of people were picking Curtis Blades in that matchup because of the grappling, because they saw Pavlovich got... Uh, got taken down by Alistair Overeem, and then he got ground and pounded, so Curtis Blades is such a good wrestler for the heavyweight division, yada yada, I mean, I picked Pavlovich to win that fight, I just thought Curtis Blades is that, like, he doesn't use his grappling offensively, and he doesn't use it very smart, like, when he shoots takedowns, they're very telegraphed, he always shoots takedowns when he's in trouble or he's hurt on the feet, so I just thought Pavlovich was just going to be too much pressure for him, and Curtis Blades always chokes against the big punchers anyway, so that, that's why I also picked against him in that matchup, but anyway, I mean, yeah, Pavlovich beat Curtis Blades, he beat Tai Tuivasa, which I get, Tai Tuivasa was coming off that TKO loss to Sir Ogon, maybe came out too soon, um, so... But still, incredible performance in that fight as well. And then he also uh, killed Derek Lewis, which was kind of controversial. Wait, was that the one where it was like an early stoppage? I mean, I didn't think it was an early stoppage because I thought Derek Lewis was really hurt and he was about to get knocked out. But some people thought it was an early stoppage. So yeah, I mean, he's beaten a lot of these top guys in the heavyweight division. And I think it's time for him to really get tested against someone like Tom Aspinall. You know what I'm saying? And the promise is that 
If you do if you do Tom Aspinall versus the winner of Gone and Spivak, first of all, that's gonna take a while, right? Because Gone and Spivak are gonna fight in September, and then Stephen Jones are gonna fight in November. Let's say they both retire, and then you have Sergey Pavlovich. Who's Sergey Pavlovich gonna fight? Like, I don't want him to fight the winner of Almeida and uh, Curtis Blades. Like, why? No, I don't. I don't want to see that. Like, because Pavlovich already beat Curtis Blades. That doesn't make any sense, guys. That's why, like, I mean, I know you guys are going to get mad because of the title of the video, but is Tom Aspinall ducking Sergey Pavlovich? Because that it just makes no sense for him to call out the winner of Gone vs. Spivak at all. One, Tom Aspinall already has, like, a first-round win over Spivak, so if Spivak ends up winning, like, is he going to find him again? Like, that makes no sense. That was, so, that was so dumb. So, in my opinion, guys... Let me know down in the comments below. And I'm a fan of Aspinall, guys, because I, I really do believe this guy is a future heavyweight champion. He's incredibly well-rounded, has fast hands, great ground game. You know, I feel like he was everything that we kind of hyped up Cyril Gaon to be. Like, you know, we're like, oh, Cyril Gaon, he's such a fast heavyweight. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of heavyweights with his footwork, with speed. He's so big. He's so athletic. But I feel like Tom Aspinall is that guy because Tom Aspinall just has way more power in his hands than somebody like Cyril Gaon. Maybe Cyril Gaon is a little bit more technical, a little bit more of a pretty striker. But Tom Aspinall has more power in his hands. I think he's dangerous everywhere. He has great ground game, great BJJ, especially when, it, when with these heavyweights, man. He's going to... He's going to destroy them. And I just think Tom Aspinall is like the future. But I just don't understand why he called out the winner of Gone vs. Spivak. He should have called Sergey Pavlovich. That's the fight to make next. That's that's a fight that I'm, I really want to see happen next. And I think they should wait. Wait to see what happens with Stipe vs. Jones. Because let's say, let's say Stipe vs. Jones happens, right? Jones wins and Jones does not end up retiring. What you could do then is that you do Sergey Pavlovich versus Tom Aspinall for a number one contender to fight Jones later down next year. Like, that makes sense. In my opinion, that makes a lot more sense if Jones does not retire. But in my opinion, he most likely is going to retire. I mean, John Jones even this morning came out with a statement saying that, look, like, you guys always hype up the next coming guy. Like, I beat Cyril Gaon. Before he beat Gone, people were saying, oh, Gone, you know, he's just a different type of heavyweight. You know, this is a guy to beat John Jones. And then he beats Cyril Gone in the first round, and everybody's like, um, well, Gone doesn't have any ground game, and yada, yada. So I kind of understand John Jones' perspective there, where it's like, that's true. Like, if he keeps beating these guys, people are always going to be like, oh, well, actually, this next guy is going to beat him. This next guy is going to be better, but... I mean, to be fair, like, I do want to see Aspinall versus Jones like that. Ooh, who wouldn't want to see that as a UFC fan? You know what I'm saying? But I understand his perspective. And also, like, from a legacy point of view, like, him beating a Pavlovich and Aspinall, like, it doesn't really do much for his career long term. Like, for right now, like, us, you, the people that are watching UFC right now, I mean, it would be great, right? Because that's an exciting fight. But legacy-wise, the Stipe fight makes more sense because, you know, Stipe is considered... The, the greatest heavyweight of all time. If John Jones beats the greatest heavyweight of all time, then he cements his legacy as the greatest fighter of all time. So I understand why he took that matchup, even though we all know that Stipe is not in his prime. He's a lot older, hasn't fought in like two, three years. Uh, he's coming off a brutal, brutal uh, lock, uh, KO loss to Francis Ngannou. So it's like, really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we know that he's most likely going to beat Stipe. I mean, hey, never underestimate Stipe. You know, he could come out and shock the world, and I would be so happy. Um, but, yeah, guys, I mean, those are just my overall thoughts. Like, I just didn't understand why Tom Aspinall didn't call out Sergey Pavlovich. Are they friends? Is he is he ducking? Like, why? Like, let me know down in the comments below. Like, do you guys agree with me? Like, was it weird for you guys, too, that you saw Tom Aspinall call out the winner of Gone vs. Spivak? Because that just made zero sense to me. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having a good day. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the video. Share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one.